All right, welcome back to Resonance. In this video, we're going to take control of Anna. And we're going to explore the hospital because I get a feeling there'll be quite a lot there to discover. So let's head straight on in, shall we? Now, I did notice one thing in the editing the video. I've got my hospital ID badge here, and when I swipe that, that goes yellow to signify yellow is unlocked. But can I go to floor 8? I actually can't get to the administrative administrative floor. Which is odd. Why would that be locked off to me? Although I suppose it does it does kind of make sense in that it's not something people would regularly doctors would need to go to. You know, because it's not their job. Okay, now, we're at floor one now, the lobby exit. We've been down to the ambulance play, ambulance play and maintenance rooms. <laughs> What's that there? Okay, anyway. Patient, patient rooms use north elevator. Oh, there's a north elevator. I didn't know that. Anyway, we're on floor one. Let's go to the ICU. Just to see what's going on there. We want to explore every floor fully. Ah, yes, this place. I remember this place. This is where we looked at the journal thing and unlocked it. I see you, That leads to the rest of the hospital. Let me guess, it's locked. Or I can't go in there, of course. Junk? It's just paperwork and a few health leaflets. About naughty things? Wink, wink. Yeah, maybe. I already picked mine up this morning. Mostly just drug company ads. Of course. I see you, computer. <laughs> well, that's because you're not very important. And this is sort of on the front desk and it needs to look fancy. Hello, nurse. I'm not officially meant to be here today. So I prefer to stay low-key in case... Oh, right, fair enough. Um, yeah, more junk. Nothing I can click on there. Let's see. That's Candace. She's worked here for years. She's a private sort of person. I don't know much about her. Fair enough. Alright, there's not much here. Can you go to the left? Is there anything over to the left? Yes, there is. Oh, there's a person who's anxious. Poor man. I know that look. Hello. Yes, you do. Disturb him. <laughs> Auto farm. Let's drag that into my short-term memory. Uh, let's drag her into my short-term memory. I'm going to drag everything into my short-term memory, as a matter of fact. Just in case. You know? Patient folder. I'm not going to, don't, going to take the patient files from the walls. Oh, Why not? Oh, we can look. Ooh. Aha. Okay, so Morgan Sayer. Okay. Diffidroxinine sulfonate, is that? Diffidroxin. D Defexodranine. Sorry, why did, why did they get that from? Drixopril, I assume. Ooh, an inhaler, okay. Stephen LaRue is on nothing. And another one on that. Same dosage. Hmm, wonder what that's for. I could Google it. You know what? I, oh, I was going to Google it, but then I realised I'm not recording in that kind of mode, so I can't easily do it and show it. <laughs> What's that? Strelirindidendum RB... RB687. Hmm. Dunker interflexone. Elkacine. Methylucil, methylosyl. I don't know. That's a very shiny one. Charlene 1. Is that one? I don't know how to pronounce Chinese. I am sorry. Denise Boy. Boy. <laughs> okay, I, I promise never to say that again. Carrie B and Doroth Dorothy Gray. Hmm. Okay, so these are all in these rooms. I'm off duty. Dr. Cheng would not welcome help. <laughs> Can I go in there? 
No, I guess not. Can I go further to the left? I cannot. Looks like that this was fully explored already. What's this? That's the auto farm. The automated farmer. So oh, wait. Oh, <gasps> punch in the code. Get drugs. Okay, okay. So I can get drugs. I can basically get drugs right now. What is that code? Is that? Yeah, the different uh, sulfonate. That's a different code to that. So that is not the code for that drug, presumably. Presumably, I don't know. Let's have a look. Can we even use it? Yes, we can. Authenticate. I can authenticate. Ah, please enter patient ID. Okay. Okay, okay. No, no, I don't want to take them. I just want to look at them. Okay, so let's see. Any of these drugs seem useful. I don't know what any of these things do. So, I'm gonna say no. Easing off dolphine. That might be handy. Dolphine sounds like some kind of morphine-ish thing. That could be useful. 5681M. Okay. Let's use that. 5681M. 5681M. No, I don't want to authenticate with the journal. Okay. 5681. And a suffix M. Patient Shonda Brown. Dispensing dolphin. Options? Ah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think I see what it's trying to tell me to do. And I've got prescription meds. A bottle of dolphine. Placebo. Now, 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 now. That's got to come in handy. I've got to give someone those drugs. Yeah, there's, there's got to be something useful. In fact, someone's got an empty pill bottle. So I could mix the drugs up, potentially. Oh, that's sneaky. That's kind of dangerous as well. I could kill someone like that. Well, IntelliThene, what's that? 1646S. Let's get that. Ah, okay, what did that say? There's a slot here for excess or mistakenly dispensed meds. Ah, so I can only have one drug at a time. Okay, okay. So I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to head into the lift and go up to a higher up floor. Ding dong. All right, we're in the ICU. Research projects. I can actually go in there without any kind of ID. Okay, I'm not going to complain. This might be... Yes, it, it absolutely is. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Welcome to the Antivorta Project. Please state your business. Hi, Emma. It's been a while. Oh, Dr. Castellanos. Castellanos. <laughs> uh-huh. What can I do for you? Um, I don't know. What can you do for me? Yeah, let's, let's gossip about her. Oh. No. Uh, let's give her some dolphin. <laughs> no, fair enough. Um, death certificate? Nope. Um, doesn't seem as if there's much here that would be helpful. And I, I... Never mind. I assume we can't use the terminal. She's gonna... Dr. Castellanos, don't touch the box, please. Sorry. She's a bit rude. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Is that the entire hospital explored? Ah, use north elevator. I remember there being two dot one, a lot, the basement being one long corridor. So potentially if we go to the other end, I might be able to use the lift there. Yes, I think so. I think so. Because these are a lot of maintenance doors. <laughs> 
I really don't know why they would need this many maintenance doors. It's insane. It is utterly insane. Insane. Can you go in there? Locked. Well, that's not very good. Yeah, these are probably all going to be locked, but I want to check them nonetheless. Can I take a mop? I'm a, I'm a gym, I'm a doctor, not a janitor. <laughs> uh, see what I did there? Uh, these will undoubtedly all be locked. And I can't go down there? Nope. Why are there so many maintenance doors down here? Maybe it's all one massive maintenance room and it's just got loads of doors into it for whatever reason, but that doesn't make any sense. Well, I think I'm actually completely out of places to explore here. The lobby exit is the lobby exit. That's of no use, of course. The ICU is the ICU. We've been there. The research project is just the anti vorta place. The morgue. Uh, let's go over to the morgue, actually. Just in case there's something we've missed, or something new there, perhaps. It's always possible. And I can't take the coin back. That's kind of sad, that. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing I can do here. So let's get to the lobby exit, I guess. Now, no, no, can we get in there? The fe Yeah, really? I hadn't noticed the fence. Yeah, but there's no way you can get in there. The workmen who are who are fixing the roof watch that TV set on brakes, okay. Crane! No, I don't want to... The crane for the roof repairs. The hospital. Home sweet home. <laughs> well, I'm generally there more than I am home. That's fair enough. Alright, now, can I go back to my apartment now that I'm just Anna, perhaps? No, no, I cannot. Okay, so we've fully explored the hospital. We've gotten everything apart from the document we need from the police administration. We can't do anything there without 10,000... Wait. He had a pill bottle. Didn't he? Hello? Ozzy needs his quiet time now. Ah, but you see, I've got Dolphin. <gasps> Whoa, was I right? <laughs> okay, so now I need the FTTN for this guy. Okay, now how do I locate his FTTN? <laughs> the guy popped his head up over there. Okay, now how do I, how would I locate someone's FTTN? I've sort of got access to the archi the city archives. But that's a bit of a hassle to get in and out, and I don't know how to access it anyway. So. The baseball fields, there's obviously nothing there. That's a baseball field. The hospital? Don't, don't think so. I've got the death certificate. Should that not have it on? Surely that should have it on. Shouldn't it? I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um, can I show it to him? I don't know, maybe. Nope. Um, I need to find him something he wants. Obviously, the, the meds, which are a placebo, of course. Now, how would I get financial info, let's see. Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab it might be. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If we can find the guy who sold Morales the vault, maybe they can help us find it. Right, I'm surprised the cop didn't say, hey, that's illegal, Mer. But then I guess he wants to help us, so he's not going to do that. Can I look at it with the sonograph? No, I didn't think so. How about his journal? Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so. D-E-A-R. That's presumably an A, because that'll be deer. Deer. So can I, like... Oh, whoa, I can manually translate it. Excellent. Now, I actually do really enjoy the cipher used here. So let me just get a bit of paper. Oh, I bashed my microphone. Sorry about that. Now, let's get the grid drawn out. I actually remember how to do this cipher. It's a fairly simple one. Now, let's see. Do, 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 do. Right. Now, I just need to find the... Oh, yeah, I've got the cipher in the in my inventory or shirt long-term memory here. Yes, I believe it's just a standard ABC. So if you use the key we just made to decode the message, and an angel, I got it. There you go. You'll be a cryptologist in no time. ABC IJK. Wow, I've really got to write that down quickly. <laughs> IJK. So, if you use the key, we just T. made to decode the message. Oh, this is gonna. I, an angel. I got it. I actually can't You'll see it too well. In no time. T U. You code, Uncle Hobby? L. That's actually not a standard version of that cipher. It is a customized version, which I like. And so, I think that's the key, V we just there. The v O Y. And an angel. I got it. There you go. You'll be a cryptologist in no time. All right, I'm missing one, two, three letters from it. But that's okay. That should be enough to work on deciphering it. Let's have a look here. In fact, I'm going to leave that for the next video. Because <laughs> I will run way over time if I start deciphering this now. So I'll do that in the next video. And I'll see you in the next one for some code breaking. Bye for now. All right, welcome back to Resonance, and now it is time for some code breaking. Yes, we're going to break the code, assuming it's done in that same cipher. It might not be done in that same cipher, now that I think about it. But I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see if it is. Now that is D. This is actually slightly different. This is a slightly modified version of this cipher. I've not seen this before. Mm, ah, okay, so this is different. So that is A. A N. That can't be double N. That can't be Anna. So, therefore, now what's that? I've got that. I don't have that letter down. Do I have any of the... Are any of these done? That's not even the first page. Let's go to the first page. Holy crap nuts. D-E-A... D-E-A-R... A-N-N-A... -N -N D-I... Yes, that's it. E-A-R... Yeah, this is it. This is it. We've got it going now. See, from this point on, it's mainly... You can mainly just deduce it from what's, what's already there. So let me just check this with my cipher here. No, that is not the one that was shown in that picture. So, I'll do another one here. I might need some new paper. Yes, I actually have bits of paper. People use pen and paper nowadays. Just so you know. Well, at least I do, anyway. Okay, there's the first grid drawn, and there's the second grid type thing drawn there. Okay, so that is D there. E is the top left, I believe. Ah, that's different. I don't recall exactly how to do the cipher. That's okay, though. I can deduce most of this here, I think. Okay, so. Dear Anna. I've got E. I've, okay, I've got all these letters. I've got all these letters. Let's look through. Right, that's going to be sorry. S-O-Sorry. 
Resonant, that's C there. Sending, that will be I there. I, that'll be M, I'm. That'll be G, that'll be O, that'll be U. Yes, that's right. Oh, so that is an O. As is that, so it's not a standard version of this cipher. Okay, that's fair enough. I'm sending you, TH, this journal for safekeeping. Keep. Pardon me. Dear Anna, I'm sending the, you this journal for safekeeping and to help you make. Hmm. H there? Well, that's going to be E, of course. Ah, uh, yeah, so there are multiple things here. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. Make the decision that I may need to ask of you. A decision that I, myself... What's that? Unable. Was unable. Alright. Dear Anna, I'm sending you this journal for safekeeping. Oh. Alright, alright. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Dear Anna, I'm sending you this journal for safekeeping and to help you make the decision that I may need to ask of you. A decision that I, myself, was unable to make. You must learn what resonance is, and more importantly, what it could be. That's a B there. I will contact you with instructions. I'm sorry. Harvey. January 13th. The calculations and simulations are real. My new assistant, Ed, has been checking them. These particles were just a ghost of an image, a blip on, this, on a screen during one particle, particle collision months ago. They all called it a sensor bug, but these numbers don't lie. I'm going to try to repeat the experiment, that's an X, on the new, larger super collider as soon as it comes online next week. I will be remembered for this. I'm sure you will, but for the wrong reasons, I'm afraid. January 17th. Eureka! Three tests, three successful glimpses of my new particle. They exist as the substructure of the electron. Conjoined twin particles occupying the same space. But how is that possible? I do not yet know, but I know that once separated, the particles are only visible for a fraction of a microsecond before they snap back together. Okay. Pulverizing each other. Pulverizing each other. No time for sleep now. I, I'm actually going to read all of this, I think. February 3rd. It'll be a month before I have access to the Super Collider again, but there are so many simulations to run. I'm operating on the theory that the sub-electron conjoined twins are occupying the same space, but not the same time. They vibrate through space-time in perfectly opposing yet perfectly complementary patterns. Two particles drawn together, inseparable but never meeting. Wow, I like that. Last night I dreamed of Anna. February 8th. This morning I found the simulator unlocked. <gasps> ah, that thing he was in. Could he have been that sleep deprived that I left my data accessible by the world? Pa oh no. Oh dear, that's bad. Perhaps I should adopt a stronger encryption scheme for my notes. Yeah, seriously, this is not a very good encryption scheme, I must say. It's not a very tough cipher to break. Perhaps I should invest in a secure repository for my research and data, the vault. February 13th. Resonance. That is the name I have given to the special vibration of the particles. Each particle in a set vibrates at the exact same frequency. There's a Q. This binds them together. But why do these twin particles bind to each other and not to any other? My theory is that no two sets of particles in the entire universe have the same resonant f resonance frequency. That should be resonant, surely. Frequency. Every set is unique. Resonance literally holds the fabric of existence together. Oh no. February 21st. That was the third phone call this morning that has interrupted me. 
No one on the other end. Just go oh, hell no, that's not good. February 24th. Remarkable. This is truly groundbreaking. I had Ed verify my equation three times. The sect... The sect particles, once separated, are not only strongly attracted to each other, but the attraction is inversely proportional to the particle's proximity. Yep, that makes sense. The attraction doesn't lessen with distance like gravity, it increases. The ramifications of this... The potential energy, yep. Jeez. March 12th. Every night for two weeks, a blue van with no markings. I'm keeping the curtains drawn at all times when working at home now. Why are they here? I get the Kaleido again in two days. I've almost prepared the devices. Oh, the devices! I haven't told Ed what I'm going to attempt. I installed the vault a week ago, so everything should be ready. P1 day, PI day? Success! Using the devices, I was able to trap 20 pairs of sect particles. That's got to be some kind of typo in the translation there. The devices block the special property they have with... Have... They have... The special property they have their vibration, allowing them to... Stay apart after the particle collision. The devices then each attract one of the separated twins. I have 20 sets to experiment on. I haven't slept in a week. <laughs> Jeez. March 15th. 19? I just checked my notes. I thought I had made 12 crap. Oh, someone's stolen one. I thought I had made 20 devices. I have 19. Was I that tired? Did I miscount? I checked my lab, the simulator, where I was experimenting on them. All along the route to my vault, nothing. Maybe I only collected 19 sets. Who could have taken one? No one even knows what I have. Not even Ed. I'll be more vigilant about counting each one as I place them back into the vault at the end of each day. Oh no. March 27th. Someone was in my apartment. I set a piece of tape across the corner of the door after leaving and it was broken when I returned. Oh, that's clever. Clever man. I'm staying in my lab. March 30th. I'm keeping Ed busy coming up with possible applications for resonance technology. He has a bright mind. Many brilliant ideas. While Ed is occupied, I slip away. To the vault, no one can know. April 2nd. I thought someone was ransacking my lab, but it was just old Saul the janitor. No! Saul isn't involved, is he? Now, I know that's a very big leap, but... Saul could potentially be involved. Yeah, he could... Oh. But it was just old Saul the janitor. I shouldn't have yelled, but he shouldn't be in here. I need sleep, but I can't leave the lab. I found a comfortable position in my simulator. <laughs> oh, dear. April 9th. Despite all of Ed's brilliant ideas for Resonance's beneficial applications, I've grown haunted by what has been unsaid, been left unsaid. The undeniable potential for destruction contained in these tiny particles. I saw the blue van parked near the lab. I can't do this anymore. April 10th. I was walking down the lab's hall in the middle of the night to the bathroom and I heard someone else's footsteps behind me. I took off running and they gave chase. I locked myself in the bathroom until I heard nothing. April 11th. I've decided to send Anna my journal and some notes along with enough information to find my vault. Should something happen to me. I'm glad I had her fingerprint encoded. Encl what? Her fingerprint? Ah, right. I'm glad I had her fingerprint encoded into the system. I need to make a decision myself, though, before it's too late. I'm calling Ed in the morning. This is the beginning of the game. Well, the next... Oh, that's the last page of the journal. Crap. Oh. That's it, yes. Just like the cipher games I played with Uncle Harvey when I was just a child. Oh, Uncle Harvey. Why did you have to hide everything? Because it's fun that way. It is. Alright, so I need his FTTN still. 
How do I get his FTTN? Now, there's one place I can think of maybe getting his FTTN, and that's the anti vorter facility. But that's not an option, because I can't get in there anymore, can I? Um, okay, let's see. Hmm. There might be something in Juno Labs. There might be. But I'm not expecting there will be. I think we can discount Tortoise Security now, because I don't think there'll be anything new there. I bet he built the vault. I bet he built the vault. I seriously bet he built it. Um, national credit systems, that's no good. It would just come from there. The police administration. I think the city archives is maybe the best place to get the FTTN. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go to the lab because there might just be one in the lab. It might just be in the lab. And there's an aer airplane. Okay, this place still looks like crap, apparently. <laughs> There's Morales' lab. Nothing up there. Let's... No, let's head into his lab. Because there might be something with FTTN in here. There's his desk. There's nothing I can click on individually on the desk. Kiss me, I'm a physicist. <laughs> oh, that's a nice mug. Jeez. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... Ah, the terminal! <gasps> Her fingerprint! Oh. No, maybe that wasn't what he was talking about. Let's get Ed over here. Because I know his fingerprint can access it, and we need his FTTN, and I think it might be in the, in the system there. Maybe. It might maybe potentially be in the system there, I don't know. Let's just get in there and have a look. I do like, love this multiple character viewpoint control thing. I love it. Verifying. Accepted. Okay, security logs. These were all scrambled, that's right. Log area. Log error? Yeah, these are all scrambled. Back to menu. Database access. Now, one of these was okay, I believe. Database corrupt. Was one of these not okay? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. This is just scrolling around, isn't it, now? This is just an endless loop. Yeah, that's an endless loop. Utilities, I could, oh yeah, I could access the thermal scan and that was it. The calculator. Pardon me, which is of no use to me. See, I do like they've got the calculator there, so if you're not familiar, you can get pie up for the password on the thing. I like that a lot. Now, I bet we're going to have to use this to find the vault. I seriously bet we're going to have to use this to find the vault. I really, really bet that. And we're not going to find the FTDN there, so I'm not going to bother with that for now. Is there anything over here? Can they go in? Well, you should. Keeper, that's obviously disabled. Servers are, the servers are all powered off by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, I think I need to take out a bat... Yes, I'll take Anna back to the hospital and go into the morgue and examine Morales' body and see if he's got a, his FTDN tagged on his toe or something. <laughs> I don't know. Do they, do they do that? Do they have your national or social security number or whatnot on, your, on a toe tag when you're in the morgue when you're dead if they know who you are? I, I don't, I genuinely don't know. Uh, hospital ID badge. Yep, unlock that and head up to the morgue. All right, examine. It's not going to do anything. She's just going to cry. Uncle yep, she's just going to do that. See, that looks like, like it might be information, but I can't click on the information because it's mean. See, there's really nothing else I can do here at all. 
Okay. Wait. So I need his FTTN. Can I get that I need the FTTN into my short-term memory somehow? Can I put that in my short-term memory? No, I can't. That would be silly. Um, there's no, there was nothing in the journal. Um, his what were his last words? Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Yeah, the uncle holds the key. Right. Now, anyway, the time for this video is up, so I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to record one more video tonight. Just one more, because I'm getting carried away with the recording again. This game is getting exciting. It was always exciting, but now it's kicking into gear. It's really kicking into gear now, and I've got to keep going. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next one.